ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to more Resident Rise here on a chilled craft server. I hope you are well. I hope this video finds you well. Personally, I'm sticky hot. Europe is going through one heck of a heat wave, as is the UK, and even though I'm tucked way down on the southwest corner of that freaking planet, uh, planet island, it's stinky hot here too. But we shall persevere. Um, stuff has been going on here. Me and Fuego um, decided we needed some quartz uh, a little while ago, so we went and set up a quarry in the nether, and I've yet to check if we've done... Oh, it's right there, nether quartz. Oh, yes, 2,000 nether quartz. That should do us. That should do us for sure. I don't think I'm uh, too worried about that. However, <laughs> running that system um, produced, or rather turned out, one massive flaw in our entire setup here, and that is that this power supply was drained very, very quickly and couldn't keep up. It got to the point where I decided not to log on and just leave it going because the quarry was draining every little bit of the system, and our ME system above, which runs off the same power network, was basically turning on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. And it got a little bit tedious. So I thought I'd let the quarry finish and start scheming this. Now what we're going to do is we are going to hit up the big reactors, that's for sure. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this up whee, while you guys go off and watch a little bit of me and Infuego um, getting everything set up. I think we ended up using a um, an ender quarry, which of course needs magical books and all sorts of funkiness. So it took a little bit of putting together, excuse me, tea burp. And um, other than that, I'm going to show you this because it is ridiculous. What we need are these graphite bars. We need some iron, not the steel, and we're going to grab ourselves a little yellorium because we've got some left. I really, really need to go and we'll get that processing as well, get some more yellorium because we're going to run out. So we'll be able to build the reactor, but we won't be able to power it. That'd be fantastic. Maybe, 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 hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe Penguin can lend us a little bit, I don't know. So that's the pattern, but it doesn't show up. However, you can take stuff out. It's so messed up. I don't know what's going on with this package or this, this version of Resident Rise right now. I don't know if it's the configuration for this particular server or what. Who knows? But the plan is, anyhow, to get some reactor glass made. We've got quite a lot of reactor casings. I'm hoping that's going to be enough right now, to be honest. And then if we get some hardened... Hardened glass as well. I made a little bit more of here, so we should be able to get some casing. So this is for the front of our um, reactor casing uh, type thing, which we're going to build down here. Now, yes, I'm going to get on with this because I've started dribbling uh, on about nothing. So I'm going to empty this out and start building the um, framework while you guys go check out us doping our way into the nether for some quarry action. And I'll catch you guys in a bit. Cheers. <sighs> Although, Me saying too. that. My my record button is the same button that I use to zoom in and out on the map. So every time I record, I go one level in. It's very <laughs> handy. And if I want to come, oh, so that's why that happens. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. noticed that. <laughs> I do it all the time. Anyhow, so we've got a gift from Pengu. Woohoo, Pengu! And he's given us like a <laughs> metric poop ton of uh, 64k storage drives. Incredible. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What was that 48? 50? 50, 50 odd uh, 64k storage drives. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, we're set. <laughs> yeah, so um, we need to load up Haxel, get all of them, whoops, get all of them in here, I guess, at some point, um, spread them out. Let's chuck some in there now, actually, because well, we need to uh, quarry the quarry the what? Quarry the Nether? What we yep. saying? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I do know what we're doing. Um, I like so that's... dispersing these. Yep, go on. Sorry, I'm just laying out drives. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> that's the plan for today, anyway. We're gonna set up a, a, a quarry in the Nether using yeah. um, an Ender quarry, which we've never done before. Not in the nether, as far as I know. Not in here, anyhow. Nope. So let's see. What what does it take? Uh, yeah, you check that out. I'll go set up a few more drives. Because we might as well dump it all straight into old Haxel here. Because he's just got a heck of a lot more powerful. Oh, man. The drives. It's phenomenal. We don't have obsidian. Um. Well... <laughs> <laughs> See you later, guys. <laughs> yep. That's it. <laughs> That's the app. We're out. <laughs> no, we do. You've just chiseled it all, apparently. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah so let me convert it back. Might have had a moment using it for something. <laughs> okay, so where are we at in the crafting here? Um, I think we're pretty close. Okay, I just did the uh, diamond-etched computational matrix. <laughs> <laughs> 
Lovely. Um, <laughs> The yeah. Ender core. Do we have the Ender infused obsidian still? Yeah, we should. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. Look at that. Have you made one of those? The diamond etched computational matrixes. <laughs> I, I just did. Yeah, and I put it in the. AE. All right. Cool. I'll clear the uh, the crafting pattern then. How's the quarry? Oh, very close. Look at that. Getting there. Getting there. Yes. So on it. Um, ah, that. something's not right. I probably don't want to put them next to each other. Oh, it's an iron pick. Well, we're gonna need that. Um, oh, I suppose we can just set up a couple of public access ones. Um, so, yes. Filtering out the rubbish. Please, thank you. Because it could be as simple as... Um, <laughs> like so... Uh, ooh, yes, ish. <laughs> and the trash can is getting quite cramped, but it's cool. I like cramped. <laughs> cramped is fine. Yes, I've noticed. <laughs> I don't mind cramped. <laughs> Where are you? I'm down. Are behind you behind the machines? machines? Yeah. Okay. Let's clear out a little bit more room. Make it slightly less cramped. Because this tesseract on above you now is just sending out power to all of these, so we can tie into that one. And then what I was thinking was that you've stolen my Tesseract again. Here it is. <laughs> you've, have you got two? Yep. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, did I leave my thing on? I think I left it on. Let's see. Nope, it was off. Oh, weird. Um, damn it, Sybil, come on. Okay, so what are you, what are you trying to do here? Right, the plan was, I was going to say that I'm just trying to line this up. We could place a Tesseract there, above you. Then that could come into directly a chest. And then if you... Have you got the trash can as well? I do. If you place... Or oh, chuck it here, one of the two. I think, because what, what we need to do... Stick one of these in there. Is we can do... Just get it into this chest, basically, here. Ah. Because then, if we do that, filter, pull out of that one, filter on that one, I think we're done. Oh, what's this? An item filter. Mm-hmm. Goes inside the, the slot of the trash can. Oh, really? So, Yep. So if you right-click with that filter in the air, you place whatever you want to filter into that, into the slot, and then you place that into the trash can, and only that item will oh, get pulled into there. Oh, that's... Um, I had no idea. That's freaking amazing. I always use servos for that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that is cool. Well, we need to place um, another rack, rack and stuff into that, don't we? Yeah. So, but this should, in theory, work. Uh, and so everything will just get dragged out of the box. Stuff will get filtered into there, and everything else goes into our chest, and that gets sucked yep. into the ME. That's pretty tidy. Yep, that'll work. Oh, it's ridiculous considering the systems we used to build back in the day to handle this kind of stuff. No, it's just like <laughs> Tesseract. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> so simple. Hmm. Okay. Yes. So you have your jetpack? I do. Uh, I'm I flying. Think... <laughs> you have item ducks in case we need them? I have impulse so... item ducks, redstone energy cells, the Tesseract, a chest, and a pneumatic servo. I think we're ready. I think we've got everything, man. Shall we take the book? Yeah. The book route? Or route? Why do you guys Spawn. say route, honestly? I'm not going to get into it, but... <laughs> it's it's obviously root. Uh, anyhow, Nether. No, that's the Overworld. Oh man, that's in an awkward spot. We really need to sort these books out. Actually, yeah. um, we should put them near the portal on along the um, along oh the wall. along the wall. Yep. Yeah. That's perfect spot. Actually, we'll just have to shift them up there. Oh, main nineteen C nineteen. No longer on the yeah. server. Lasted a month, I think. Poor guy. I know. Oh, it was. It was it was a tough time. Um, we should go up, right? Like Actually, yeah, we should just dig straight up, you know. I've got mm -hmm. your crazy cool hammer. Hang on, how fast is that? That's pretty quick. Oh, dang it. Got stuck straight away. <laughs> oh, there's dirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we'll go up here. That's, that's all dirt as well. My Paxel's not hacking it. I don't have a decent Paxel yet. That's the problem. Wow, you've got that's some That's the other sword. thing we have to do. Yes, we do. Yep. All of that goodness. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, look at you just flying on up there. How much of this freaking earth is there? That's, that's, oh, dear. Oh, I hit bedrock. Oh, that'll do. We must be quite high already, then. Nice. Perfecto. Let's clear a nice big space. Wow. Play some torches. I think I should get my shovel or something. <laughs> a better one. Alright. It's quite painful. There we go. Nice. Cool, cool. Okay. Yeah, look at you go with your uh, super enchanted Paxel. goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've, All right. I don't think I've even got it in my ME. Dang it. I should just start stashing everything in there from now on. Right. Banked. Right, we're done. Let's go again. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, you know what we have to do? Mm -hmm. We're going to have to clear um, for all these fences. Oh, yes. We need to dig some tunnels, man. Yeah. Need to dig a lot of tunnels. Um, for this, though, we are going to need to keep the power source separate, as it were. Hang on. This is well, do you want to go ahead and set up all the uh, the power, and then I'll, I'll start digging for fences? Cool. Yeah, this didn't take too long, actually. Um, let me see. If we chest... Which direction are the fences going to go? <laughs> I guess this way. Yeah, that we'll way, start. and say we go off in that direction as well. Okay. Um, now, we want to filter stuff out here. So, that could go in there. And then possibly... Something as hooky as this might work. <laughs> that could work. That could work. Uh, oh, no. No, what am I doing? I'm in a plum. Dink. Where's the um, trash can? Do you have the trash can? I do. Hooky. Be right back. No worries. No rush. It's all good. I think we're going to do like so. That's good. And can you grab it from there? Uh, yes, thank you. Perfect. There we can do that. Yes, this is going to work. Plonk you there. Get the trash can. Like that. Oh, you've got the filter for the trash can as well, haven't you? So. <laughs> 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 now you're going to have to wait. That's cool, man. No worries. Right. I think that should be it. Dink. Let's have a look. Quarry is only connected to fabric. Yes, I know. That's awesome. That's fine. So it should output into there. That should drag it out. Dump it into the bin on the way past. And anything else that filters through will go into the Tesseract. Let's configure you. Um, no. Where's my 109? Oh, zero, zero. Uh. Oh, curses. It's not. Ah, oh, dang it. I'm going to have to What's pop wrong? back. It's all right. I'll have to pop back. The Tesseract at the other end isn't set up correctly. Oh, right, right, right. Um, so this will be... Uh, wherever I named it before. Dang. Chillum Fuego Quarry. Plus. There we go. Now that one's set. Brilliant. So you need to send items and do receive energy. Perfect. Yeah, that's right. That's good. Cool. Right, so we're back in a tick. So I think all you need to do have you right clicked on the uh quarry? There we go, it should be working. Oh look at it go. <laughs> right on. It's not even hitting the fa the uh chest at all. Uh you just got sucked out straight. Yeah, I mean that's the cool thing mm -hmm. about these impulse item ducks. So that's seems to be working. I mean that's mostly getting binned. Yeah, if you you can actually see it getting filtered. That's, that's awesome. So cool. Okay. Well, that's it. Blimey, it's just going to do its thing. And then we'll come back in about. Oh, um, oh, we don't even need a chunk loader because it does it itself. Ha ha. That's handy. That is fantastic. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's that was pretty simple. Pretty. Yeah. I mean, it, it generally is. Yeah. These days, setting up a quarry, bit of a doddle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's quite sweet, especially with the tesseracts, man. I mean, that's that's what makes it so easy. So very very easy. Very cool. We should check on the other end and make sure it's okay. Uh, yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Alrighty, so there we go. That was our fun with the quarry. And like I said, 
it killed our power system. So I have finally, or well, while you were watching, I have put this together. And uh, it's all all the bits are complete. We have the uh, Eulorium fuel rods. We have these caps at the top. That's all you need. And other than that, you can use glass or this reactor casing to cover the whole thing. So the back walls are covered uh, in the casing. The glass is used on the top. Reactor floor bits. We have a controller here and around the sides, which I'll show you when I get this uh, all put together. We have a reactor power tap. That's where we're going to get our output from, the actual power. We can place our Eulorium in here. We can get the byproduct from here, which is some sort of... I keep thinking it's cyanide, but it's so not cyanide. And then we have two redstone um, ports, which are going to control turning this monster on and off um, as it uses power, which is really, really sweet. So what we need to do, uh, before we can turn all of this on, and I'm pretty damn sure we do not have the Eulorium for this. I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm going to have to work something out. I want to get it working before the end of the episode. Oh, my God. Am I really... Does it take that long? Right, I've got to get rid of all of this glass up here, basically. Which, by the looks of it, is going to take me a hell of a long time now. And then we need to fill the whole thing, the top layer, with um, resident ender juice type goop stuff. So, thankfully, as well as uh, having put this together, I've prepared 32 odd buckets of that stuff. And we only need to place it on the top layer because it will flow down and fill the rest of the uh, generator or big reactor as we need it. So... Let me cut all of this out and get some of that filled in, and I'll be right back with you. <laughs> oh man, this is going to take forever. I need some better tools. Aha! Alright, so the pack salt is a lot better, unenchanted, than my pick. What are the odds? Look at that. Okay, let's return in a second. Alright, well. Well, 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 this should be about it. Bink! And the multi-block is back, that's awesome, I think. <laughs> Where were you again? Sybil? Sybil just can't leave us alone, man. So there we go. She is fully fueled, or fueled, fully powered up anyhow, not at all fueled. <laughs> God damn, this is going to be the tricky bit. So let me see about um, setting up the inputs and outputs for this. So what I'm going to want is, uh, let's grab ourselves a chest, as per normal. Diamond one, that's fantastic, that'll do beautifully. And uh, a little wooden one for the time being. Uh... Uh, let's not bother, actually. Uh, let's just get all of the remaining Eulorium, which is not much. Uh, a couple of stacks, that's that's bad. We'll get the last of the yellow right ore going as well. That's cool. Let's grab ourselves a little bit of um, redstone alloy, maybe? Where is it? There you are. This stuff should be lovely. And I think this is all we need. I think everything else we have down below. Now, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think this is going to get anywhere near full enough for what we need so just for funsies on the output port um if we click on this reactor port you can set it to this output option hold on there we go we can set it to outlet mode uh, and that's what this is so this will output all of our um excess junk like the byproduct which i still can't remember what it's called plutonium cyanide cyanide plutonium i don't know i do not know this is our input port into which we're going to place our eulorium in a second um it's not going to do anything, I swear. And then at the bottom we have these two redstone um, reactor boards, which are awesome. Now this one is being set to output energy amount, activate the signal from here when the energy amount is below 95%. Very handy. This one in turn says that when it receives a signal, input enable set from signal, and I believe we can just do set from signal on here, and that will turn the reactor on or off. And then all we need to do is connect the two with some redstone cabling like so and now that because we are below 95% is trying to turn the reactor on now I don't think it's going to do anything status is offline because it has no power at all okay so I believe that's all we need to do for that if we chuck our eulorium in it's just going to get sucked away <laughs> straight away and you can see the bars the eulorium casings the fuel rods themselves are getting full but they're not anywhere near I don't think let's have a look yeah, wow, exactly 50%, so we need another couple of stacks. Whoo, this is going to take a little bit of time. Let me uh, let me pop up here, chuck the remainder of our Eulorium in here for processing, and I'm going to have a quick think. Well, that edit must look like I didn't go anywhere, but I actually did. I went and popped over to Pengu's. And um, Pengu, my dear friend, thank you, sir. I borrowed a little bit of uh, Eulorium from you and a little bit of ore to process up so we can get this baby going. I will pay you back as soon as our quarry is up, okay? I promise, I promise, I promise. It's going to be good. Okay, so, um, yeah, about three stacks of yellow right. Now, look at that. It's actually filled the reactor, which means everything's powered on, and um, I've done something wrong. Anyhow, I've done something wrong. 
Let's have a look at this. What's going on? Input separate set from signal. Oh, we yeah, I never I never committed it. There we go. Commit. There we go. So that's now on, which means yeah, the system's powered up and boom. 23, 24, 25,000 RF per tick. Holy, and it's holding steady at about 25k uh, RF per tick. Holy moly. And the 10k RF buffer is nearly full. That's sweet. Boom, you're up, and everything goes down. 442%. That's a good number, apparently. I remember Crafty telling me uh, on the Def Craft. <laughs> there we go. Jeebus. Right, so what we want to do. What we can do is we can knock all of this out, and I've got my hammer here, so that's kind of cool. Um, so we're going to grab that and that, and you, my dear Tesseract, and all of this system can get to buggery, because I don't need it anymore. What I'm going to do is just set up a Tesseract there, and we shall say your input is from the back, like so. So that should be UKIP full, and everything else is an output. Um, and what we can do is we can place other resonant energy cells around here just to charge them if we need to, but we will have our main energy tesseract coming off there which means everything else should be running fine my guards my guards it's full of stars let's have a look it's getting used we seem to be using quite a lot of power well i wonder where that's going and eight yeah oh, we're draining some power from somewhere holy crap i wonder what's still running would that be the you know i don't know i don't know i'm gonna have to go find out what that little mystery is that's interesting but we have it i'm dubbing her big bertha because something this size that's a reactor and it's got the word big in its name. Should be called Burfa as far as I'm concerned. So Big Burfa, our big reactor, cometh and she's alive. That's fantastic. Oh man, I'm so excited. 25k RF per tick. I mean, ooh, 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 that's so awesome. So I'm hoping this is all working. Um, you're drained a little bit. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's using all this power. How curious. Oh, well, whatever it was has... Uh, Stop for the time being. Excellent. Well, there we go. Let me go check the length of the episode, and uh, we'll see if we've got time for something else. I'll be right back. You know what? I'm pretty sure we've got time. So what I want to do is I want to test this puppy out. We can... Man, I've just got, you know, <laughs> half a million. How much is that? Five million. Fifty million. Fifty million RF just hanging around in my pocket. So that's awesome. Um, yes, I want to test out the quarry, and as such... At the same time, I want to test out this little puppy. Now, I'm not entirely sure how we can do the transfer, so I'm going to take a chest with me, just in case, and some of those awesome, awesome item ducts. Uh, where are they? Oh, we've only got three, but that should be enough. That should be enough. Is that item? Yeah, and there are item ducts as well. Fine, that's cool. Let's grab ourselves a servo, just in case. Oops, spelled correctly would be nice. Thank you. Um, mm, 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 I think that's everything we need, to be honest. Right, so let me go double check Ooh, this little doohickey. Have I also got some torches? I do not, because I'm so prepared. Um, Chillum Fuego Quarry, number nine. Okay, cool. That's all we need. That is all we need. What I'm hoping to do is I'm just going to go over there and set up, like, a basic mini default one. I'm sure... I I'm sure, I'm sure hope this works. <laughs> I'm sure it will create a basic little um, quarry bit for us without having to set any uh, markers. So just to test it out, that is what I want to do. I've got 48% fuel left on my, uh, energy left in my jetpack. That should do. Now I'm pretty sure I dug a hole down. It did, yes. I knew I had popped in here. And right down stars on the floor, we have some mobs. How fantastic. Did I bring my big old sword? I did not bring my big old sword. <sighs> I'm just going to hack you up with whatever this is. What are you? Uh, sharpness 4, that'll do. Down you go. Come on, Zumbles. And... Oh, yeah, God, you guys are all at like, double hard over here, aren't you? So gun. Oh, boy. Where's all my extra hearts gone? I hate it when I go through dimensions. Get bent. Come on, get down. I want to... I really want to do some stuff here. Is that a creeper as well? Oh, marvellous. Just to add to the fun. Right, well, I think this is going to take a little bit more time than I was expecting. So, give me a moment. Alright, this looks interesting. I figured I'd go to the top of the world, back at the beginning, and just place it down. And it does seem to sort of create an area for it to want to have a crack at. So, just to see if this is working, I'm going to put that there. I'm going to place you there, and then I'm going to knock you out. Um, and run some bollocks. Be right back.
Whoop. All right, so thankfully we didn't have far to go. That was cool. Now I want to run power from here into the quarry. I don't know if you're doing anything yet. You've got no input. Mm, it wants MJ. That should be fine. Now you need to be on that channel, and we want you um, mm, mm, sending items. Yes, that's good. Nothing with fluids and receiving energy, I think, would be cool. Mm, shat. Oh, it's on nine. Let's actually set you. Jesus, there we go. Oh, hell yeah, that's working. Oh, good God, yeah, look at that go. Boom, 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 boom. Right, let us, <laughs> in that case, just flick you on there. Put you in. Grab some of that. Switch you over. Oh, this is very exciting. I do like that. That sounds freaking cool out there. Let's get the old crescent hammer and whack that. And hopefully, I should be clearing everything out. Look at it go. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Even a bit that it clears. Dude, this is running so fast. Look at that. What speed is that running at? That's like full on as fast as it can go, I believe. Well, I don't know. I'm guessing so. We are pumping some power through it, so... That's amazing balls. That's so much stuff. Let's have a look. Yep, and it's just getting churned through. That's fantastic. Let's chuck all of this back through because we don't need it. That's awesome. Holy crap. <laughs> right, well, let's go to the other end and have a quick look. This should all remain chunk-loaded, hopefully. And back at base. Bagum. Not bad. Generator's generating. We should check that in a second. It's definitely working, no blimey. We should be having... Oh, I would have thought there'd been a crap ton of stuff coming through here. That's interesting. Um... What? Has it stopped? Oh, maybe it's not loading anymore. Maybe it stopped working because it doesn't chunk load. Oh. Oh, hold on. Well, let's see. How's this doing? Yeah, I mean, it's getting used, so I don't know where, where the hell are the items going. What? What the hell? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am completely confuzzled. I don't actually know where all of our stuff's going at all. It's definitely using power. I don't have any byproduct yet. Nope. Whatever that stuff is. Um, but yeah, I can't for the life of me work out where our items are going. So, I'm going to work that out in between episodes, I think. The quarry is amazing, as we've seen. But I'm lost. I don't know where... where <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why our items are disappearing. Oh, cripes. Hello. Let's try that again. Hang on. There we go. And it should still be just turning away. Yeah, look at it go. Look at it go. I mean, it is just a powerhouse. Items are getting produced. Like, it's... it's Wow. Ooh, shell fossils. Nice. Bones and all sorts. Interesting. Um, so yeah, it's all getting dragged out into this tesseract. And then... Then I don't know. I don't know where it goes from there. So, there we go. Hmm. Any ideas? I haven't got any. I'll uh, I'll find out. Me and me, maybe me and Fuego can get on the case, but we shall see. So, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Cheers for everybody who subscribed recently and all my existing subscribers. Ali Al are amazing people. So, thanks for your uh, ongoing support, guys, and hopefully I'll catch you here next time. Cheers.